I was just thinking for this one, it might be fun to do something like an espadrille. So I can show you um, some braiding techniques and also um, some ribbon. The first thing I do is I draw a very light line and I just kind of mock out where the wedge will be. What an espadrille usually has is just one braided piece that comes here and then usually um, there's another piece here that kind of meets it so it looks something like there's a line here okay and then you have espadrille braiding just kind of parallel to this bottom line here when you're doing some braiding it has to be the same width from here all the way up so I'm going to just put in a very light line to show myself how wide this has to be. Again, it's very light because I'm going to be erasing it afterwards. Okay, and then let's just draw in. So again, you want to mirror this thickness here and then all the way up. show you a few times just so you can really get an idea because it can be tricky okay so I'll start on this one again these lines are also very light because you want to make all of the braiding curved it looks more real that way all right so we'll start there so I like to kind of overlap my lines a bit. They're parallel. Like these lines are all parallel. These lines are all parallel and they all kind of cross over each other. So this one will meet into this one. Hope that makes sense. But you can see it when I'm drawing. Stop it a bit past center. It's kind of funky around curves, so just do your best. Get it from this angle. And I'm not too far with that one. Okay. okay, so that was the first one. Now, what you do is you make a very small curve connecting all of the lines. This helps it feel like multiple pieces instead of one connected solid kind of thing. And it's okay that it's not 100% even and lovely because really with espadrilles and with braiding, it's not an exact science and things don't look perfect anyway. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so that one's finished. Now I'm gonna start working my way around here. So I'm gonna do one for you again. Going past center with each line. So that one kind of dies into the original one. So again, we're just gonna, because this one meets the outsole of the shoe, which is the sole, it's the bottom, we're not gonna make a very lovely line there. It's just a little bit of, a little bit of curved pieces. I'm going to continue doing this. So I kind of decided halfway through because <laughs> it can be pretty tedious 
that um, I would leave this section blank. Maybe we can just put in the upper material into this piece here. Let's do the front. So I want to start it from here since, since I need this line here. Kind of extend it and bring it. Actually, I want to bring it a little bit. Make it a little sexy, right? It's an espadrille. It needs a little help being sexy. Okay. I'm going to start here. And I create the back piece, which is kind of a strap. And then you draw a little circle. And I'm going to draw it kind of going a bit up the leg, the ribbon. So then again, you draw the little piece of ribbon that's on the other side of the shoe, and it comes around up here. Okay. It's coming back here, and it's going around the foot again. Then you're going to have your other piece, this piece, which ostensibly comes around the other side, and then we'll loop back around this way. So it's going to loop like this, and we're going to knot it in the front with a little bow. So we're going to bring the, the foot up a little bit, the leg up. Okay, so when I usually do a bow, I like to extend the loops out like this so you it's not so jumbled here so you can see it's actually a bow and it just kind of looks a little bit more whimsical I guess so I draw a little knot here very easy right just do a little boop and then I'm using my words it's great then I like to draw the skeleton of the bow like that and then I come in and I draw the actual bow because Sometimes when these loops kind of come together like this, it needs a bit of work. All right. So this bow loop will go underneath the original bow loop. Then I draw So again, with shading, what I like to do is with these straps that overlap each other, and you'll see it a bit better when, um, when I ink these in, but I like to show that this strap is going over this strap by shading a bit on the bottom strap, just shade it. So it looks like there's some space between these two straps, okay? So I'll do the same thing up here. This strap is going over this strap, so I shade the bottom strap. And then I shade a bit of the knot, and I shade a little bit by where everything meets at the knot. That just helps bring it all together a little bit. All right, now I'm going to do a little bit of erasing so it doesn't look so messy. With this circle here, this is called an eyelet or a grommet, um, but it's the hole that the um, ribbon would go through. Okay, so it's usually metal, and so you have to draw two circles. Parallel to each other, and that kind of gives the impression of an eyelet. All right, and then I draw a little shading here too, to show that it, something's coming out of the hole. All right, now, because this is open, again, you need to draw your insole board. get a thin one. So I'm going to ink all of these up and show you what that looks like.